Hi, I'm Rita Ora, and I am doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. Let me know if my posture starts going like this, because my mother will kill me if my posture is bad. Okay, here we go. What is Rita Ora known for? Well, you know, I get asked that a lot because I do lots of things. I do music, I do film, I do TV shows, and I do fashion. I really love doing everything. And you know why? Because why not? All right, 360, artist, businesswoman, what? Here's the next one. What is Rita Ora's vocal range? Well, first of all, what is Rita Ora's vocal range? I mean, I don't know how to say it, but you know, it's, it really is a very kind of strong one. It really varies depending on the record. But I'd like to think I'm a very strong alto. I got that husk. <laughs> what does Rita Ora look like? What? Google images, people. Google images. Okay. I look like this. Instagram handle at Rita Ora. <clears throat> what is Rita Ora? Zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Sagittarius, 26th of November, 1990, which I think in the United States of America, that's around Thanksgiving. All my American friends seem to be unavailable around my birthday, so are they really my friends? I don't really know. What is Rita Ora's most popular song? Well, I think there's a few. Anywhere is a pretty good one. I Will Never Let You Down, I did with Calvin Harris. Oh, and Let You Love Me. I'm also just telling you the songs that I love performing, so. What connects Rita Ora and, oh, there's two. And, oh, Jim Belushi. Well, we're both from the same country, from Kosovo. There's actually a lot of incredible artists now coming out of my country, I'm very proud of it. But yes, he is an icon where I'm from. What has Rita Ora done to her hair? What? So I'm not quite sure, so people are actually asking these questions because they don't like what I've done to my hair, or they wanna know how to do my hair, or they wanna copy it. I'm not quite sure where I stand there with that question. I've done a lot of looks. I've shaved my head, done a little sort of crop do. I've gone all sorts of colors, platinum, blue, purple, pink. What does Rita Ora eat? Everything. What are Rita Ora's fans called? Well, the Rita bots. You know, I'm not quite sure where they got that from. What they say to me is, you know, like they're, they're robots, they're indestructible. So that is, I think, where they got Rita bots are robots, bots. What was Rita Ora's first song? Well, it was a song called R.O.P. Um, it was written actually by Drake and Chase the Status. And it's probably one of the most memorable moments of my life. Of course, it was my first song. It was the first time I had a solo number one single. The one prior to that was a feature. So I don't really technically cast it as my record, you know? So this for me was a monumental moment. <laughs> Is Rita Ora Albanian? Yes, well, let me just tell you, it's a bit complicated, right? Kosovo is now independent, which it wasn't back in the day. So technically, yes, for years I would say, I'm Albanian, I'm Albanian, Albanian, but I'm actually Kosovan, but it's really very much, it's similar. Is Rita Ora her real name? You know, it's so funny, everyone asks me that. It really is. My, my full name is Rita Sahachu Ora. Is Rita Ora left-handed? Yes, I am. Woo! I'm pretty happy to be left-handed because they say a lot of good things about left-handed people. You know, they're creative, they're loving, they're lovable, they're awesome, they're amazing people, friendly, kind, generous, funny. It just doesn't end. What? <laughs> Do I need to say this one? Nah. Okay. Does Rita Ora, oh, this one's kind of tricky. I already can feel it. Does, gosh, I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Does Rita Ora sing in Fifty Shades? Yes, I do. I am in Fifty Shades and I sing in Fifty Shades. It's a song called For You that I do with Liam Payne. I kind of love singing for film. You know, I've done a, a song for Detective Pikachu. I did the For You soundtrack. I really feel like I love it because you already have a visual, you know? So writing songs for movies is really fun because you can really adapt to what you're watching. 
Does Rita Ora speak Albanian? Yes, I do. I mean, I can say Siye Ayemir, which means hi, how are you? Gzuar means cheers, and Natanemir means good night. My parents growing up spoke uh, Albanian in the house constantly. They were learning how to speak English at the same time. So I kind of just really picked it up and thank goodness they did because it's really nice speaking another language, especially in public if other people don't understand what you are saying. <laughs> Does Rita Ora write her own songs? Yeah, some of them I do. Some of them have been written already and then I put my thing on them. It really depends on the song. You know, I really feel like however a song comes into my life comes in for a reason, so I tend to mold it to me. Ooh, it's hot in here. When was Rita Ora born? Okay, I was born 26th of November, 1990. I'm a 90s baby. When was Rita Ora on The Voice? Well, I'm on it a few times, actually. I did it back home in the UK. I was a coach back in, I think, 2014 or 15. And then I just wrapped up doing it The Voice Australia. When is Rita Ora on tour? I know, right? Oh, hopefully I'll be on tour 2022. Fingers crossed. Watch out for the tickets. When was Rita Ora... Oh, sorry. When was Rita Ora a judge on X Factor? Wow, that was pretty... Pretty... It was a while ago. I would say 2013? No, 14? Gosh, it was my first kind of TV gig. I loved it. I, I went back as an actual judge at some point and it was really cool. And I actually won the show. Thank you. Okay, who is Rita Ora best friend? Who is my best friend? <laughs> I've got a few, I'm very lucky. I've got amazing friends. Well, first of all, my bestest friend is somebody I went and grew up with back at home who I've known since I was one years old. She's the best. She really loves to stay out of the spotlight. So I won't say her name, but she is really my rock. Aside from that, I have made some incredible friends in the industry who I cast as my dearest friends and I love them to bits. Charlie XCX being one. Charlie is, for me, one of the most talented people ever to be on planet Earth. She's such a great writer. She is one of the funnest people to party with. I think she is just like the coolest, you know? You know, some people are just like, that's cool. That's Charlie. Who has Rita Ora collaborated with? I like collaborating, I can admit, I have had a few collaborations in my career thus far. DJ Fretch, who is an amazing DJ, we had the first drum and bass number one single which in history. DJ Tiesto, Alesso, Kygo, Calvin Harris, Avicii, oh gosh, David Guetta, Imam Beck, now Sigala. Gosh, I'm sorry if I'm missing out on any other DJs. Who has Rita Ora guest on The Masked? Singer, I guessed Neo, CeeLo, Green, Khalees. You know, I've guessed a lot because I love music. You know, for me, it's like muscle memory. I hear the tone and I'm like, I know exactly who that is. And I really take the game kind of seriously. The rest of the judges are like, can you relax? It's a game show. I'm like, no, I need to get this right. <laughs> who is Rita Ora's sister? Well, her name is Elena Ora. She is fun, great, fantastic. And she works with me. Here we are. How was Rita Ora discovered? Well, I didn't really get signed until I was 14 to 16 and that was just a production deal. That fell through. I ended up working in a recording studio to get sort of like free studio time. And through that, I met a lot of singers. I did a lot of backing vocals for a lot of people on albums that you probably have heard and wouldn't know it was me on there. And then, you know, I would write a lot of demos for a lot of people and it got into the hands of Rock Nation and Jay-Z. Luckily, they liked it. They flew me out to New York and by the time I turned 17, I was signed to Rock Nation. That's the quick version, by the way. How tall is Rita Ora? Well, I'd like to think I'm 5'11", but nobody believes me. Uh, I'm more like 5'7", 5'6", 5'7". Yeah, I think being tall is gorgeous. I don't know. Ever since I was young, I wanted to be like really tall. It's so weird, right? How old is Rita Ora? Okay, I just gonna say it, I'm 30. Yes, I made it. You know, I think being 30 is amazing. I feel very calm. I feel very much more aware of myself. I think in your 20s, you're not meant to know what's going on. You're meant to just figure it all out, you know? So don't put too much pressure on yourself. But I do feel very confident and comfortable in my skin being 30. And I think that's a very sexy thing. Yeah, I feel very like in myself. 
How to be Rita Ora. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe people actually type these things. How do you, I, I mean, how to be me? Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess just be ambitious, you know? Be proud of who you are and where you're from and never really give up until, you know, you've, you've tried everything. How is Rita Ora? Aw, that's so nice. You know, no one really asks you that. I'm fine, thank you. Oh, since you mentioned it, well, there was this guy and there was this, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? How many tattoos does Rita Ora have? Sorry, mum, if you're watching. I have a lot, you know? I think I just made a decision and I became like a tattoo girl. You know, it started kind of early on in my, in my life, like in my early 20s, and it just really never ended. So I've probably got about 30. I think now, I think I will only get something if it's really, really important. You know what I mean? If it's like a memory or somebody that I really, you know, if it's just something very special, then yeah. Well, all right, that's it. Till next time, I hope you've had fun. I've had a great time. Some of the questions, I can't believe that they get typed, but you know, that's what we are here to do. Thanks for watching. I had an amazing time.